Hey Collective, what's going on guys? I hope everyone's doing great today. Say hi Collective. Oh goodness. Say hi Collective. Oh my goodness. Say mommy's finally home from work. Yeah. Oh, I got a Oh, I just took mommy's chapstick. That's so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh my goodness. I need chapstick too guys. I do. Um, cotton candy, that's good. <laughs> Eat your bunnies. Oh my goodness, this is good. I'm missing mommy today. Oh my goodness, she's been a little bit needy that we... Oh, I can't keep a nap though. I can take a nap by the collective. My hair is going down my throat. Oh, great. Now I can take a nap while the collective gets the reading, okay? I will make sure mommy stands and I can clean before she touches the cards, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna cleanse the energy. Yeah. <laughs> you so sweet. Thank you. Oh, goodness. Thank you. Such a big help. So sweet. Clean. Okay. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing great today. I'm doing good. I was pretty slow at work today, so I mean, I had plenty to keep me busy, but it was a long day, so I'm glad to be off work. It's yucky outside. It's starting to snow here again. It's like, ugh. It's not snowing at my house, but it's snowing around me, so, you know, hopefully it won't be bad tomorrow. <clears throat> but anyway, I don't know what the weather is, but where you guys are, but it's yucky here. It's just really cold and rainy right now. It's like in the 30s again. Fuck, it sucks. Anyway. Thank you, girl. It's sitting over here. And the mom's throwing you up with your little baby. Oh, granny. There you go. Oh, there we go, mommy. I'm going to bite you because you touched my tail. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Hey, dad. Okay, you guys ain't doing nothing on your boys. Yeah, I am doing nothing on your boys. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> Alright, let's hop in. Hope that you guys will please like and share and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so whenever I upload new videos, you will be notified. I already prayed over the cards and called in my guides and definitely Archangel Michael to protect me as I read and to protect the collective. Alright, let's see what messages Spirit has for us today, guys. Oh God! Now, now, spirits, I don't know what's going on. Oh, the bottom of the deck, we've got commitment. <laughs> okay, things are getting serious. Oh, what's getting serious? Okay. Yes, <laughs> yes, things are getting serious. Luck is on your side, collective. Luck is on your side. Well, that's a good way to start. That's good. Maybe we've got some positive energy coming out. God almighty, I've been having some crazy energy coming out. And my readings here lately. Phew. Okay. Vacation. You will be traveling soon. This came out twice in my reading yesterday. That vacation. You're going somewhere. Maybe it's a honeymoon. Ooh. Ooh la la, you must tell me where you go. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, goodness. We've got intimacy, sexual chemistry, and reminiscing. This is, this is getting intense, guys. What's going on? We've had a, had a nice little shift in the energy here. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Sexuality. Someone is still figuring themselves out. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> It looks like this is new energy, and I think mean, what's coming in right now is past energy. Holy moly. Yep, we got a spy. Someone got their eye on you. You are doing your research. Well, you are a psychic investigator. I'm just saying, that's what we do. <laughs> We're trying to figure shit out. Dealing with a liar. Be careful of someone sneaky. Yeah, this is past energy over here. At least we started out with new energy, so at least we have something to go on here. Move on. Someone is unavailable. A waste of time. It's over. Definitely. Yes, we know this. We know this. We need to move on. Cycles. Fate, karma, something getting, and something new is beginning. Okay. So you moved on from these old cycles from the past. You've got some new commitment coming in. Okay. So... May not have met this person yet. Trying to manifest this person, kind of what I'm feeling. And if you have met this person, congratulations. Hopefully, this is going to be your new boo. <laughs> Everything's going to be good. All right, well, since we've got some love coming out here, let's pull cool from this deck. 
<clears throat> All right. Yes. Luck is on your side. Is this about spirit? What is on our side? Oh, three came up. Ego. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. Okay, son of a bitch. <laughs> this is a past person trying to come back in. They wanting you to say yes. They know that they were that they were an ego ridden narcissist, but they don't seem to care about that. Okay, there's unfinished business. We still have things to resolve and discuss. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Go away, old peoples. We want new peoples. I'm just saying. Oh my god. In it. Okay. Shit. Self love. I'm still trying to heal. So maybe you're still healing from this person and they're still lurking around in your energy. Okay. That could be part of what this energy is right here. You know, and even if you have like healed from this, you've healed from this, you know, you're loving yourself. This person may not be over you, and they refuse to get out of your energy. They refuse to let you go. Their ego is making them insane. You know, they're ego-ridden, and they are convinced that you belong to them. Yeah, regret. I wish this never happened on the bottom of the deck. So I'm just, man, damage. We are both hurting from this, you know. So maybe this was a divine masculine, divine feminine in your life that has kind of fallen into karmic energy here. They've fallen from grace. So it's a missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. So they waited too long. It was a soul contract. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. So, you know, secrets. I haven't told you everything. <sighs> Damn it, guys. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, they're wanting to take you on a vacation, it looks like. They're wanting to commit to you. They're spying, and they do not want you to move on. They know that you've moved on from them, and that you've completed this soul contract cycle out with them. They don't like that. They've not done that themselves, because they're unhealed. <laughs> the collective is healed or healing, and... Um, they are not. They're stuck in this karmic toxic energy and uh, they are they are not able to move on from the collective. Yeah, we've got damage on the bottom of the deck again. Neglected. I failed to give you what you need. So <laughs> they want to try and take you somewhere <laughs> to make it up to you. I mean, I don't know. It's freaking winter. Where the hell can you go in the winter? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, you can go places, but that's just still, you know. Reveal, I want to tell you the truth. Now, how much truth are they really going to reveal? You know, if we're dealing with an ego-ridden possible narcissist, which is kind of what I'm picking up on the energy of this, uh, they, they hurt you, you know. They did. And it sucks. And let me just, as I looked at my door behind me, my fuck off sign is not there. I just keep getting flagged on my videos. And they, and I mean, YouTube will send me an email and say, we're going to age restrict your video. And I've got other videos out with it on, with topics that, you know, it just should not have been an issue. But it's like every one of my videos here lately, they're doing it too. So I'm going to take it down in this one and just see what happens. They're not wanting me to get the messages out. It's really put a hit on my channel that I'm really, really trying to grow. And I, so I don't know. That's why my that's why my sign is not there. But it is right under my table. And if I need to, um, I can just pull it right up and uh, flip my little switch and... They can fuck off. This side. Okay. So, you know, I might just put it on my lap. Okay. Let me see what happens. <laughs> I mean, since it's just not hanging in the door, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Because I love my sign. Damn it. I fucking love my sign. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But anyway, so we're going to, we're going to have a trial run and see what happens. But, you know, they want to tell you the truth. They want to reveal some things. So, who's to say if it's going to be the truth about all things? I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. A narcissist. Ego ridden person, which is narcissism, you know, that's what they're operating from. It's from the shadow self. 
the unhealed aspect of the being. So, you know, when you're healed, you're not operating from a state of egoism. You have a healthy state of ego. So, you know, their pride has made them fall. You know, that's what happens. And they're broken. I feel shattered about the situation. You know, maybe they're realizing now uh, how special you were to them. And, you know, damage. We are both hurting from this. You know, they're, they're hurting. You're hurting. And self-love, I'm still trying to heal, you know. You can still be healing from this person, you know. I mean, especially like if this was a divine counterpart, a divine union, possible twin flame. It takes a while to heal from that. It's 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 harsh energy that, you know, it's like, can't believe that you didn't see me at all, you know, like what's going on. So it's just they're demoted to karmic and that's just what it is and they're wanting to come back in so you know i mean you use your discernment on that but i mean i don't know guys i don't think that uh you should go back to what hurt you and take on more karma that you've already healed from because they're wanting to come in so that you can heal their karma and take it on for them and they can energy harvest off of you so that uh, they don't have to do the work how they need to. They may not know how to do the work, but it's not your responsibility. You know, it's theirs. It's th We are responsible for our own healing work in and of ourselves. Our inner work is our responsibility and no one else's. No one can do your inner healing work. Only you can do that. But, you know, I mean... That's what's going on here. So, I don't know. It's just the, That's what I'm picking up. Intimacy. Yeah. They, they just want to be intimate. They miss your sex. Sexual chemistry and reminiscing. I mean, they're, it haunts their mind. And, you know, they could be out in these karmic bill streets. Hauling around. Trying to find you everywhere and in everything. But, you know, <clears throat> they can't find the collective anywhere. So, uh yeah and they're regretting they're regretting their decisions they're unsatisfied i wasn't happy with the way that things were going you know <laughs> they're 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 unsatisfied with themselves okay absence i feel like a part of me is missing without you and it came out in the reverse so you know you're not missing their absence they're missing your absence and you know if they feel like a part of the, I feel like a part of you is missing, or I feel like a part of me is missing without you and it's under intimacy, they just want to come in and love bomb and have sex. Like they're, they're, I'm hearing sex addicts, like it's, a, it's an addiction, like they're addicted to your sex, okay? sabotage i mess up the good things in my life sometimes and you know they could have messed up if they are a sex addict they were cheating you know they had put you in a third party situation and uh they were absent in your relationship like they were always out doing the most trying to find the next best thing you know, instead of, you know, stating, hey, you know, I'm going to live a fun, wild, single life right now while I'm sowing some wild oats and be honest. But they can do that. You know, they try to commit to you and treat you like you were the only one and you were not. And, you know, they were unsatisfied within, in, within and of themselves. And they were dishonest by lying. I ripped us apart. And they know this now. Look, they're, they're reaching. Please, please. I just want to touch you. I, oh, I messed up so bad. And they know. <laughs> they know that they're most likely going to say no. <laughs> no. Sorry. Sorry. No. Sexuality is next. <laughs> I'm just saying. Someone is still figuring themselves out. So they could be on the down low. I had a video of this a couple days ago. These down low masculines, man, they got to fucking figure some shit out. You know, I'm just saying they're fucking, they're fucking people's lives up with this crap, you know, and acting like they're not. And you're calling them out. I'm like, as you can see, like, you can tell it's fucking obvious. It's like, come on, bro. I know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> just, just admit it. 
<laughs> you swing both ways. <laughs> okay. Did you ain't gonna swing towards me if you swing in both ways. I'm just saying. That's not what I want to do. <laughs> I will find someone. Who, I will find a man, in my case, who is not by and swinging both ways because that's what I want. I don't want a man that swings both ways. Divine masculine, flip it how it fits, you know, I'm just saying. But this, I think, is more so kind of more what the fi divine feminines are dealing with right now. I mean, divine masculines, you let me know if this is happening to you, but I'm just saying. I mostly have divine feminines on my channel, but I do have masculines. So, you know, I actually have, have more than I expected that I would. So that's awesome. Okay. All right. Soul tie. I always feel connected to you with this sexuality here. They're creating energetic cords. <laughs> you know <laughs> and they thought that you know maybe you were crazy about this person and they thought that they could be out running around doing whatever the hell they wanted because you were so in love with this person and that you would just always let them just come back and then oh to their ultimate surprise that did not happened and now they are devastated because you're healing or you have healed from this you've learned to love yourself and these boundaries that you've got up man they can't get through your barriers they can't tear down your walls they you did not wait and uh you don't want anything to do with that crap period okay sexuality and soul tie spirit. Give me just a little bit more. Give me a couple more. Give me one more. There it is. Okay. <clears throat> so we got soul tie. I always feel connected to you. Irreplaceable. The way you love can never be matched. Yeah. They can't find you anywhere. And they never will. They'll never find Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, and anyone else. It's just not going to happen. You know, it's just not time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. Yeah. Yeah, they wasted too much time playing around, being distant, neglecting you, being dishonest. There's not unfinished business. They don't have closure. They walked away and they didn't give you any closure at all. They don't have closure in and of themselves because they just thought that they could always come back because of how good you were to this person, right? You were good to them. They're like, oh, they'll always love me. I can do what I want. You're like, Carmen, I'll do what I want. The fuck you will? No, you won't. <laughs> you're going to get... You're going to get bent over my knee and get your little ass busted if you're going to act like a little freaking kid running around with this man-child crazy-ass energy. You can forget it. No. Detachment. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. Yeah. You had to detach. You let it go. You had to heal. Understanding. I see your side of the story. You know. And they're trying to understand. You know, we understand. We, we see where you're coming from. But, you know. It is what it is. The collective says no. <laughs> I'm just saying, I mean, it's up to you. You do whatever you want, but I'm just saying, um, you can't heal in, some, in a place that broke you. Like, you just can't. So don't put yourself through that again, <clears throat> especially if this person was abusive, physically, verbally, mentally, emotionally, definitely sounds like sexually out of here, you know, and probably all they wanted to do all the time was dig you down. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just wanted sex all the time. It's all they fixated upon. It was just fucking constant, and they missed that, you know, because they're sex addicts. I'm just saying. Spy. Someone got their eye on you. You are doing your research. They're spying on you. They're stalking you. They've got other people watching you. To keep tabs on you when they can't. That's fucked up. I'm sorry. You know, like, no one deserves to be stalked and treated like that. That That's so wrong. Like, they wouldn't like it if someone were doing that to them. You know, but yeah, they, they feel like they own you is what I'm getting. God almighty. Here we go with commitment again. Damage. We are both hurting from this. 
you know i mean they know they have fucked up man they have fucked up and they did the most and they can't fix this you know they just can't they're overwhelmed the stress from this is draining me and commitment i want you to be a part of my future we've got commitment again i mean they're liable to come in with a ring or something we did have proposal in last night's reading you know and uh <sighs> You do what you want, collective. But I'm just telling you, if it were me, I would say no. No, <laughs> I would say no. Because, I mean, how how long are they going to be good if they are inseparable? Our love is always there despite the distance. You know, this is what's going on in their mind and in their being. Okay, this is what's going on in your person's being. Confusion. I feel unclear about where we stand. Collective is very clear on where we stand there is nothing it's over like that's it they're confused because they're delusional you know unexpected outcome things didn't go the way i planned no because they thought that they could just come back after they played around and played house with whoever else and however many other people they wanted to go fuck around with and that you just wait and if you're single and you're celibate, they could think that you're waiting, <laughs> but you're not. You're just healing yourself. And, you know, their values do not match your values. We have too many differences, you know. <laughs> we don't value that karmic energy. We don't. We value our, our self and our healing and our, and our path and our service for the, for, spirit and for the collective and for god you know and they may not even believe in god they may not allow you to even you know operate out of your spiritual gifts they could have shunned those and and dimmed your light and you can't let someone back into your life that acts like that you can't do that it's not worth it you've worked too hard to get to where you are and you just keep climbing and keep going you know you just keep these people out of your life but this is their plan this is what's going on in your person's mind okay and they're heartbroken they are they love you they do i mean what i'm feeling is they don't really know what love is okay and when they got a hold of the collective it scared them they're like there's no way that's real what the hell is that? Because the collective, we love from a state of unconditional love. We're earth angels. We're divine beings. We don't love how karmics love. It's a totally different thing, you know. And we don't chase. And they, that's what they wanted. They wanted you to chase them. And, you know, they're probably ignoring you. Um, you know, real weird if you do interact with your person um you know and it's sporadic and they just act like you don't exist and then all of a sudden they'll come up and try and talk to you or calling you or crying or something's going on and it's they are miserable with the choices that they've made and they are miserable with the life that they are living right now and they regret it and they didn't see how valuable you were then. And now that they've had some time to go out and run around and be <laughs> who they are, you know, to the world, you know, just showing up with this crazy energy. Um, we've healed, you know, we've moved on from that trauma. And it was a lot of trauma to heal, you know. That we were not expecting to have to go through. And um, I think that your person really shocked you on who they really are. And remember who they really are. Because you saw their true, their true state of being. You could also empathically see through, through their soul. And you could read their energy to what these wounds of this lifetime of no healing work has done to your person okay i mean we've all been there you know so we have compassion and we understand and we've tried to help and we've tried to help them heal and they didn't want anything to do with that you know they were content and being a wild crazy motherfucker 
you know, could have um, addictions of all kinds, um, you know, like to party, like to fuck, <laughs> you know. They're just reckless, you know. And all they did was disturb your peace. But, you know, they carry demons around with them, and that's what demons do. They steal your peace, they steal your joy, you know. And they exhaust you. Because when you're exhausted and you're run down and you're you're dimming your light to be able to vibe low, to even be able to be in their energy, it's very easy for you to get entity and auric attachments onto you to where they can siphon out of you. And sex is one of the main ways that they're going to do this. They're energy harvesting from your sacral chakra. That's where you create everything. And, you know, that's your beautiful Empress energy, and that's Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, period, because we encompass both of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine in each of our being, no matter what our sex is, okay? And you have to have that balance of both energies in your being. <clears throat> and they're operating in a state of chaos. They are not balanced in any way, state, or form, or fashion, and all of their chakras are blocked. It's just... It's a mess in there. It's just a mess. Okay. Well, now we've got liar. They're definitely pathological liars. They couldn't tell the, the truth of their life depended on it. You know, I mean, stare you straight in the eyes knowing good and well that you know. And they know that you know that they're lying. And they'll still lie right to your face over the dumbest, the dumbest shit ever. It's like you can't even tell the truth over something that that insignificant. And if they're lying over the most insignificant things ever, imagine what these, uh, what they really want to reveal and uh, they will tell the truth about. You know, I mean, we got a church right here. You know, they're like, oh, God, help me. Oh, please. Well, you know, God's not going to listen. <laughs> God's not listening. Because uh, you heard his divine chosen beings. Nope. Sorry, karmic. <laughs> nope, nope. This could be your twin flame, though, okay? So, if this is your divine twin flame counterpart, you know, there is the runner-chaser paradigm, you know, and that's why this inseparable is here. This could be a twin flame, you know, and maybe all kinds of your exes before this or whatever. I mean, like, your family, other people in your life, friends, coworkers, their exes. I mean, there's spell work that could be done over this relationship as well. It's like everyone and everything possible came against this union. Okay. So, um, they were such a low vibrational frequency when they were your person that they were operating from that they were so lost. You could see what was going on and you even, you probably even told them. I mean, you probably flat out prophesied many things that are unfolding now. And my my reading yesterday was about all these divine towers that are coming in. And they're, they're dealing with karma right now because of the horrible choices that they have made. Okay. And, you know, all they did was lie to you constantly. Liar. Be careful if someone's sneaky. So they're being sneaky on how how can I get back in? You know, I'm gonna come in with this commitment. And um I'm gonna say, Oh, let's go, let's get married, let's go on our honeymoon. Trying to trap you, trying to tie you down, trying to make you theirs forever. But, you know, how genuine is it really? Well we'll still dig in a little bit deeper, but I mean, with commitment out here twice, and this one here, I want you to be a part of my future, and then the one from the Cosmic Oracle, things are getting serious. You may, you may choose to be with this person again. You might. Give me one more spirit, you know. I mean, you do what you feel is right for you, and if you want to give them another chance, go for it, honey. You go for it. And don't let anyone tell you, you know, this is not a personal reading. This is a general reading. And I'm just telling you, you know, what I'm picking up on empathically. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, God, there's a lot that came out. So we'll read them too, but I'm only going to take that one. Okay. 
<clears throat> All right, so the first card that came out was indecisive. I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. So they were juggling you. They kept going back and forth. Maybe between, maybe they were just going through a breakup when you all first started seeing each other and they kept playing you against this other person, you know, and they didn't really leave this other person, even though they said that they did, but they didn't. And it, created a, a lot of lies that were going on okay gossip i'm afraid of what other people will think that's exactly what i was saying earlier they're too worried about what everyone else thinks and they were listening to everyone else's opinion of what this relationship should consist of instead of following their heart and their own intuition regarding the relationship and what it did was destroy it it destroyed it and they've just done so much that it's like it's it's probably not able to be fixed because you don't trust them anymore and when you don't trust someone there's no reason to be in a relationship with someone because if all they did was screw around and cheat and on you and lie to you why would it be any different now? Like, what in the world could they possibly do to prove to you that they've changed this behavior and that you could trust them and take a chance on, you know, setting you back to where they could just all of a sudden find the next best thing and then just ghost you and then the cycle is just there they could move on and the cycle is just going to repeat i mean it's right here that's what i'm picking up on from this person trying to come back in okay and i mean if you want my opinion <laughs> as your reader right now on, on what I'm feeling that Spirit's telling me, don't do it. Don't do it. Forgiveness. Forgive them. Yes. Go ahead and forgive them. And I'm sure that you already have because that's what we do. You know, they want your forgiveness. I am struggling to get over the past. You know, they're struggling and they they are so convinced that you've not forgiven them yet but um collective i mean i'm just saying um you have to forgive when you don't forgive that's not condoning their behavior that's not saying oh okay i forgive you go ahead and come right back no no that's not what forgiveness means forgiveness cuts those energetic cords forgiveness allows you to heal forgiveness allows you to let go and to let god and that is something between you and father god okay to where you can finally heal and love yourself because these energetic cords that they keep trying to attach that you keep having to cut. I mean, sometimes multiple times a day. I mean, you could just be like, cut the cords. I can feel him attaching again. I can feel her attaching. You know, just call Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Raphael and please cut these cords. I can feel them trying to tap in and siphon me, you know. And if they're masturbating or having sex and they're thinking of you, they're doing sex magic, whatever it is. You know, you, you've got to forgive them for all of this, but that doesn't mean that, that they just get to come right back in and do it again. Forgiveness is for yourself. And then what happens from there, that's between them and God. That's, that's out of your hands. That's not your problem. That's their karma. Okay. But this forgiveness doesn't allow you to hold anger and resentment, especially resentment because resentment is an extremely low vibrational frequency. And when you're operating from a state of unforgiveness and resentment, you, you become bitter and harsh and, um, unapproachable like you know it's just it's not pleasant to be around that's that's not a nice energy to encompass okay and so what else popped out because i'm just taking three for each one but these popped out too uh regret i wish this never happened came out again it's come out like this like third time holding back i should have expressed myself better okay they were not good to you you know they were 
they were abusive they were narcissistic and this ego was the first card that came out i let my pride get in the way of our connection maybe they've gone through a dark night maybe they are having some healing going on inside but um I mean, this situation is going to be different for everyone, but I'm just saying, I don't think it's enough. I don't, I don't, you know, they're broken. I feel shattered about the situation. Why do they feel so broken when they did not care about you or your feelings or anything that they did when they broke you to your core and left you in ultimate ruin and probably daily from how horrible they were and how they treated you, you know, um, unappreciated. I felt like you didn't care. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right there? Like, this is how the collective felt. <laughs> okay, this is not how they felt. I mean, it could be in their crazy delusional brain. But, you know, the problem is, is that the collective cares too much. And then if we create boundaries and we are trying, okay, let, let's go here. So, being around a divine being, an earth angel, is going to trigger you. We trigger people. That's what we're here to do. Because we trigger people into healing. Okay? And our energy that, that we emit from our vibrational frequency that we encompass okay it automatically triggers and it brings stuff up that could be so stuffed down that they've hidden and then they felt comfortable they felt safe enough to talk about things and then they would get furious with you because you brought that out in them and then they throw that in your face acting like you've done something wrong when all you're trying to do is listen and let them talk that they can't handle it. They, they can't handle it. They, they can't do their inner healing work. And they don't understand how you can sit here in this high vibrational, peaceful energy of detachment. Where is it? Where was detachment? I thought I'll put it out. Okay, well, we saw the detachment card. You know, where you're sitting here in this meditative state. And they're like, how can you be like this? They've never seen anything like it. They don't know how to do that. And it made them jealous. They're jealous of the collective. Okay. And they felt unappreciated by you. Please explain it to me because I don't understand. I felt like you didn't care. Well, if we were strict and maybe a little stern and maybe a little mother-like or father-like towards, you know, our person, um, they felt like they were being punished or they felt like they were being attacked or they felt like they were being persecuted. But that's not at all, you know, the intent that was behind it. But it could definitely have been how it came across because of how immature and how reckless and how wild their behavior was and how hurtful they constantly were. And we're going to stand up for ourselves. You're not going to come at us acting like that and not have some reprimand period we're grown ass motherfuckers over here that are boss mama boss daddy bitches and we will not play your little shenanigans and your little fucking games you can fuck off you can fuck off i'm just saying okay so they can get over it all right <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Okay, let's keep going. Move on. Someone is unavailable and a waste of your time. It's over. It's a waste of your time, collective. It's a waste of your time. All right. Don't let them back. Oh, I'm just saying. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we got reflection. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. Well, I mean, that's good. That is good. And if you are a twin, then that's a mirror, you know. And maybe you could definitely see yourself in this person if this was your twin. You know, they could have just flat out rejected you. And God was like, nope, 
Next, and this is now a false twin flame. You have fallen into karmic territory, and uh, a new divine counterpart will be ushered in for you once you start healing. And you're, you know, you don't have to be perfectly healed because, I mean, I don't think that we can ever really fully do that as a human in human form, you know, because there's always something else that could probably be worked on, right? I mean, um, but you're doing everything in your power to heal as much as you can so that you're healthy and able to be in a relationship again. And you're being responsible and not just jumping from one to the next. And when you do that, you're unhealed. Okay. I definitely did that a lot in my life. I was unhealed and I don't do that anymore, you know, and, um, but they're, that, that's where they are. They, they're just jumping around from one to the next. And now they're in a desperate situation. They don't know how to get out of it. You're their safe place. They feel safe with you. And they do love you. They do. In, in whatever capacity that that can exist in a narcissist or someone that is full of pride and ego, that is in a very low vibrational frequency that is operating in karmic energy. Okay, that's shadow self. They're in their south node. Okay, the collective's in their north node. All right, we're in our life purpose and, you know, we've walked into our destiny, you know, and they, they can't interfere with that. This, this person, you know, you're moving on because you're walking into your destiny and, you know, do they really need to go with you on that? That's between you and God, you know. I'm just saying, uh, I'm struggling to find the right path, you know, uh, inseparable out here again, you know, this is a divine, this is, this is your divine masculine, divine feminine here, guys, I'm just telling you, this could be a twin here, our love is always there despite the distance, and, you know, you could still, even though you've healed and you are like, I will never let this person back in my life ever the fuck again. There's something about them that just keeps you drawn in, you know. Could be this sex magic that they're doing, but I'm just saying, you know, there's something that's there there's something that's still there. It's in your soul. It's the soul contract that came out earlier, you know. And um and it hurts because you didn't get closure from them. You know, your spirit guides gave you closure and you had to give yourself closure with a, with a lot of you. Maybe not all of you, but a lot of you, right? And um, it's like you're still, like, you love the peace that you have now that these habits, I don't know if we will ever change their habits. Oh, God. Oh, my God. They're bad, bad habits that they had that were so destructive in your in your existence but um i don't know like is it worth it to bring all that chaos and fury and crazy back into your existence and you've got perfect peace right now don't let them disturb your peace because they've still got demons on them they're they, i mean and if you are you're my subscribers and you come back and watch me all the time you know that we've got STDs HIV and AIDS that just keeps coming out from past people trying to come back in guys it's not worth it and um, you know I'd be like you go into the doctor and uh, you're gonna let me see your portal <laughs> I'm just saying like open up your your portal let's see your paperwork oh, what the hell is going on because they may not, they may have something, and you just need to be safe, okay? You just need to be safe. I don't know, just be careful, okay? Just be careful. People can change, though. I fully believe in that. I mean, I am walking proof of that. Cycles. Fate, karma. You're getting something. And something's beginning. Here we go. Wow. One more spirit. Just one more here, please. Oh, God. All right. One more spirit. Please. Oh, there he is. Oh, uh, it, it's just repeating. It, it's just, the message is just repeating. <laughs> Detachment. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. You broke the cycle. This was a karmic cycle and a karmic pattern. 
don't go back and repeat this cyclic pattern all, all over again. Okay. They're stuck in a cycle and in this pattern and, you know, that's why they're coming back around. Soul contract. The lessons I learned from this will never be forgotten. And unappreciated, again, I felt like you didn't care. You detached from this person. And now they feel unappreciated. They feel like you don't give a fuck about them anymore. You may not. You may be like, fuck off. I'm done with you. Uh, okay, our soul contract is over. <laughs> We're rewriting this. You're no longer my partner. And uh, I'm going on to my next soulmate. Okay, responsibilities. I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs. There was someone else doing this. And they should have been doing this with you. And they chose someone else over you. And now they want you back. Well, this could be what they finally want to do and step up to the plate. Or they're in a commitment already and it's getting serious and they don't know how to get out of it because they've gone so long. It's gone on so long. They took way too much time. They they didn't do what they should have done. And now it's too late. The time has run out. It's over. It's over. They did not commit to you. In the way that they should have. Gambling. Problems with addiction or gambling. And bad finances is underneath this commitment. They gambled you away. Could be dealing with this. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally apart right now. Date night. Get ready to be wined and dined. I'm going to try and take you out somewhere. Manifest. Tell the universe exactly what you want. And be specific. Okay. <clears throat> wow. What else is under here? It's under responsibilities. Reunion. We will always come back to each other. So they think they can always come back. Shadow side. I told you they're in their shadow self. You made me realize my flaws. And then right back to destiny. I'm struggling to find the right path. New chapter. I'm trying to move on. Right here. Yeah. yeah. They tried to move on from the collective. Guilty. I feel pain from the damage I've caused. They feel so guilty. Unworthy. You're a better person than I am. I'm just saying. Confusion. I feel unclear about where we stand. They're all, all up in their head. They are tormented mentally and emotionally. And sexually and spiritually and it's affecting them physically it's affecting them on every level and every aspect of their being okay it is it is they're hurting they really are they're broken I mean they're shattered they're overwhelmed Evie baby they can't stand you not being in their life and they can't stand not being able to make love to you. And they can't stand the damage that they've caused from their indecisiveness. They've gossiped about you. They've slandered you. To try and get people to come against you. To even keep others away from you so that they could slide back in. You know. Dishonest. And they didn't appreciate you. They didn't. They were so cocky. So arrogant. They were so vain. They were destructive. They were a destructive force in your life collective. 
I mean, they were. They really were. They really were. It was bad. God, that's sad, man. It is. Protest as, as a split. Inadequacy, sue, and attention. <laughs> they want your attention. And they're so mad because you're not going to give it to them. They're, they're liable to freaking go off. Like, please pay me back. I, I am going to protest against... No. <laughs> Marionette, dictatorship, domination, and reluctance. Yeah. I mean, they were a little puppet on on all of these people in their lives string. And they tried to make you a little puppet on their fucking string. No. No, no. Mm -mm. Nope. Not happening, honey. Not happening. What messages does the collective need from this deck spirit? What else do we need to know? Okay, so for yes, we got stubbornness. Yes, luck is on your side. Ego, I let my pride get in the way of our connection. Unfinished business, we still have things to resolve and discuss. Self-love, I am still trying to heal. And stubbornness, self or selfness. Mulish attitude. They're stubborn as a fucking mule. And arrogance. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. They didn't want to hear anything that you had to say. Nothing. We were that's what we were talking about. And the number seventy seven could be pertinent. Oh, that was what year I was born. That could be the year that you were born. Uh just saying. Vacation. You will be traveling soon. Neglected, I failed to give you what you need. Reveal, I want to tell you the truth. Broken, I feel shattered about this situation and merit making. Goodness, humanness, and morality. So, you know, they're going to try and come in in good faith and reveal something to you. And maybe they've been praying. They've been trying to create some good deeds and create some good karma in their life or they see you as this blessing. You know, we've got the number 64. Um, they're seeing the light that you are and how special you are in your divinity. And they're surrounded in darkness and they're scared. They're scared. They're broken to their core. And you're the only thing that makes them feel good and makes them feel safe. And they miss that. They want that more than anything. They want to have that back. And they really regret what they've done. They do. I mean, I feel it. Spirit is allowing me to feel that. But it gives me, like, anxiety, I'm feeling. Like, I felt some anxiety come through. I feel like a heaviness in my chest. Like it's hard to breathe. I feel like I'm suffocating. I feel like I'm just like smothered to death. I feel like it's just a heaviness. It's a very heavy energy that spirit just allowed me to feel right then empathically. Okay. <clears throat> That's how they're feeling inside. They just feel like their world is over. Like they've ruined their life. You know. Intimacy. Sexual chemistry and reminiscing. And then absence in reverse. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. Sabotage. I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. Dishonesty. By lying, I rip this apart. Clarify this one. Disturbance. Oh, your, your guides are fucking them up. Obscure irritation and supernatural disturbance. It's like a <laughs> They're fucking haunted man They're fucked up Like in the number 57 Okay <laughs> They feel dead inside They're like, so, like, like a zombie And your guides are fucking them up And then the death card That could be Scorpio energy I'm just saying That's number 79 Endless harm is inevitable your guides are like 
Okay, you're going to end up in the ground, motherfucker, if you even think about trying to do anything to hurt my collective. And this is what's going to happen to them because of all these horrible choices that they've made. And it's right under in intimacy and sexually, or sexual chemistry and reminiscing. They could have something. They could have something. And it's haunting them. Because if they would have stayed with the collective, they wouldn't be ending up in this situation. Damn, spirit. God. Libation is underneath here, you know. God. You can try to put something in your in your food, you know, that could be doing magic. Um uh, blood, you know, a secretion to where you ingest it to get you sick. They are sick. I'm not saying everyone is. It's a possibility, okay? Take it how it resonates, guys. You know this by now. Sexuality, someone is still figuring themselves out, you know, and they've been sleeping around with same sex and, and being very reckless. I'm hearing no condoms, so they're not, they're not having safe sex. They're having unprotected sex, okay? Um, soul tie, I always feel connected to you. Irreplaceable, the way you love can never be matched. Oh, God. Uh, time, I'm afraid it's too late to take action. And then care, parenthood, patron, and support. They could have gotten someone pregnant. Even. There could be a hidden pregnancy going on. Okay. And they're sick. I'm telling you they're sick. Disease, weakness, and fragility. They're sick, collective. The care card is number three, and then illness is 35. Okay. Damn, guys. That sucks. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. That's some harsh fucking karma to have to fucking go through. God, that, that would suck. I mean, it really would. And that's scary, man. How scary is that? That's awful. I hate that. But it's on my table. And it's what keeps coming out. Spy. Got there. Someone's got their eye on you. You are doing your research. Damage. We are both hurting from this. Overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me. Commitment. I want you to be part of my future. And then schedule. Management plan and organize. So... <laughs> and that's crazy because time I'm afraid it's too late to take action was in this last row and it's like they're trying to catch it they're trying to catch time <laughs> they're trying to catch it they want to schedule something with you or they're watching you like clockwork they're spying on you you know they're trying to plan something they're trying to find out what would be a good time to come in and make this commitment to you this overwhelm, this overwhelmed energy, this damage, they're, I mean, they're hurting. They know they fucked up. They don't know how to go back. They want to catch, they want to catch it and go back and fix. They want to, they want to turn back the clock. They want to fix what they've done. You know, they want another chance. Alliance, trust, honest, and compatibility. And dog is loyalty. Dog is loyalty. And that's number eight. And then schedule was 76. I don't know if I said that. They, they want to create an alliance with you. And be honest and trustworthy. And have this compatibility. You know. God, guys. Got such mixed emotions going on in me right now. That's what they're feeling, you know. God. Alright. Liar, be careful of someone sneaky. 
indecisive. I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. Gossip. I'm afraid of what other people will think. Forgiveness. Oh, hell, I knew it. I am struggling to get over the past. I told you. Magic has been done over this relationship. There's been everything possible, you know, to come against this union, and they have been doing magic. And if and this is under liar. And if they say that they're not doing magic on you, they are. They're fucking lying. And you may have called them out and said, you better stop fucking doing magic on me, motherfucker. It's not going to end well for you. I'm not doing magic on you. Yes, they are. Yes, they fucking are. Ceremony, mystery, and magic. It's number 18. Shit. Perseverance is on the bottom of the deck. Number 7. Yeah. And you've overcome all these magic spells that have been coming over you. And and this relationship. Challenge, endurement, and resolution. God. Move on. Someone is unavailable. A waste of time. It's over. Reflection. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. Inseparable. Our love is always there despite the distance. Habits. I don't know if we will ever change. Introvert, privacy, separate, and online community. So, you know, they couldn't stay off their phone, sneaking around, talking to people behind your back, online, online dating. It's number 66. They didn't want you to look in their phone. You know, they keep it on silent. So that way, if no notifications or phone calls or text messages or anything would come through. <clears throat> You know, they kept things hidden, secretive, move on collective. They've not changed. Cycles, fate, karma, something getting, something beginning, detachment. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. Soul contract, the lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. Unappreciated, I felt like you didn't care. And goal, it came out in the reverse. So they had a goal to come back in and destroy you all over again. Hoovering, love bombing, gaslighting, narcissistic traits and behavior. Period. Period. Purpose, expectation, and destination. They're expecting for you to be their final destination and that you are the main purpose in their life. That is the main purpose of what this goal is that they are trying to do. Well, it came out in reverse. It's not going to work. They're going to, they're going to have a natural disaster. <laughs> I'm just like, the number on, on goal was 26. I don't know if I just said that. And then natural disaster is 38. Risk, frustration, and survive. You know, I mean, you survived. All of the hell that they put you through. You survived it. You know. You did it. So now over here we have commitment. Things are getting serious on the bottom of the deck. Responsibilities. I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs with whoever it is that they're hooked up with right now. All right. And uh, they're having a natural disaster. They took a risk. Now they're frustrated and they're trying to survive it. They regret what they've done. And they're going to do and say whatever they possibly can to try and come back in. Okay. Oh, my God, guys. <laughs> I just don't have a good feeling about it, okay? I just don't. All right. Let me pull some here. These do not shuffle. God, they suck. Okay. We've got Gemini. Eight. 
Aquarius, Capricorn. This says January on the back of Gemini over here, so something could happen. I mean, we're almost at the end of uh, January, but we still got a little bit. Wow. Gemini again. And Taurus. Pisces. October. I'm mainly pulling signs right now, but something could be pertinent about those months. So that could, you know, could be when your birthday is, is in October. Got the letter Q and the letter R. Virgo and Libra. Seven days, Virgo again, May, we have Aries, M, and N. August, we have Libra again, K, L, S, and T, Leo, something could happen in February, Okay. Capricorn again. Maybe something will happen in March. And then Leo and Cancer. Let's see if anything else. Whoa. What else has come out? We have U and V. Sagittarius. July. C and D. And Aquarius again. And April. Alright, guys. Okay, so just stop. See if I need to pull anything else. Pull from this deck. And then we're going to close out. A wonderful surprise is coming. Something entirely new awaits you. Alright, so let's read it. Number 27. That's 9, so that's Hermit. So that's inner work, you know. Drawing this card heralds a surprise. Something completely new will appear on your soul path. It will take the form of a unique and magical opportunity, something more significant than it might at first appear, or an enchanting and uplifting encounter. It is an opportunity that should not be ignored. These are the moments that make our lives magical and worthwhile. Moments that carry the promise of adventure and a song of freedom. What could make life sweeter than a wonderful, joyful surprise? You have drawn this card at this time, as there is a chance that you might otherwise miss the surprise or even risk that you might spoil it, which would be a great shame. Oh, God. Okay. Place this card somewhere prominent nearby as a visual aid and a daily reminder. 
Go out and meet with friends or co-workers. Do something with like-minded people. And live your life in the near future like a child, carefree and playfully. Be silly, even a bit irrational. The real surprises in life, those that are of true value, are best seen through the eyes of a child. Keep the otter with you at... Is there an otter on here? What? Uh, keep the otter with you as a power animal and since otters love water why not seek out some water too so your power animal would be otter and then essential oil vanilla the healing crystal is uh, chrysal barrel and then the number nine all right so i mean maybe you release this and you've got something new or this person is really going to surprise you and they're going to level up, you know. I mean, you take this how it resonates with your story and your energy, period, okay? Follow your vision. Never lose sight of what is really important. So, yeah, you do what's best for you. If you know there's no way in hell that you're going to put yourself back in a mess, then don't do it. And forgive all of this. Let it go, you know, and a new person could be coming into you very soon. So, I'm just saying. The wisdom of the wolf is to adapt to life circumstances without losing sight of what is important or straying from the path of their own vision. Trust your instincts, your inner strength, and guidance. Safeguard your vision by establishing clear boundaries, defending your territory, and never giving others the power to unsettle you. I see exactly what's going on here. Some of you, you are going to be able to take this person back because they're going to be okay. Others of you, you are not. <laughs> I'm just saying that's exactly what's going on here. I'm like, wait a minute. That was totally contradictory to what I just said. So anyway, okay. Trust your intuition and never let anyone take that away from you. You have drawn this card because your forebears, your ancestors, are calling to you. It is time to rediscover your visions. Shamans and druids once wore the skin of the wolf as a sign of their great spiritual powers, leadership, and inner strength. This mission to follow your vision with inner strength now falls to you in order for you to achieve truly great things. You will need courage for the path ahead. And you will be granted a higher perception. Meditate upon it and open yourself to the light flowing towards you. You have the ability within you to expand your perception for the benefit of all living beings. Your power animal is the wolf. Herbal essential oil will be cypress. Your healing crystal is emerald. And your number is eight. Okay. So. All right, guys. <clears throat> so that's what messages spirit has for the collective. Oh, and this was 35. So that's 8. So that's strength. And then this one was 27, which is 9, which is hermit. So go within. You know, you do what's best for you. You follow your inner guidance. Both, both cards say that. You trust your intuition and you do what's best for you. Everyone's story is different. Okay, and um, trying to think, trying to see if Spirit has anything else. Is there anything else, Spirit? No, I'm perfectly still inside. All right, guys. So I guess this is going to be our read. <laughs> I love you. We love you so much. Alright guys, I hope that you have a good night. And I will come back soon with another one. I love you, Collective. Bye.